Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Frey end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than yours. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face, too. Aye, lad. So would I. On a beach here. Fragment of a language cipher. We should look for more like this.
got them all. Here, boy. Another one. This one is Thrym, a frost giant king. Correct. A cunning one as well. Is that Mjolnir? Did he steal Thor's hammer? Aye, for a time. A lot of these seem to end with Thor killing them. Imagine that.
I can read what this says now, but it's a name. Car Whoa! The name made it light up. It's the name of one of the Valkyries. That's quite curious. Mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and divisions. 
Ah, that would be Gloa, the knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress, who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, all in the hopes of augmenting her powers of prophecy, that she might find her lost husband. not her husband she would glimpse in her visions. For it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know was that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, the jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Ruthless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. And so... Reflect longer.
was tough. Focus up!
Atreus, to me! I'm coming, I'm coming! Tell me about that giant lady with the bow. She was called Skadi, the queen of the hunt. Her father was Thiotzi, who could take the shape of any wild creature, and taught Skadi how to hunt them all. From the ribs of pack beasts, she fashioned Sekhem, allowing her to glide upon the snow so no animal could evade her. And we'll pick this up later. <laughs> Come. Oh there. Got another favor to ask you to. What do you want, dwarf? I got another lead on my old pal on Vari. Meet me at the Lonsuther Mines. There's some fancy dancy loot in it for you. Another lead? But we already found it. Well, found his hand anyways. I'll explain at the mines. These ones is just south of the river pass. Now you two want something, or you just gonna stand there all gag-scrapped and slack-jawed? Let's get to it. Pull the ring off on Vari's hand at the Velander mines. Feller was always tampering with souls and dark rituals and matters of the night, see? Just the sound of his hammer flattening metal were enough to stoke my fires all blissful. Shit, you better clear out before I get all frisky. Safe, bruiser boy. Now, what else do I want to tell you?
sure that's a load off your mind. Sorry you wasted my time. Huh. 